Good morning folks, it's quarter to nine on Friday morning, uh, already inside the tent is above 30 degrees, um, I only just woke up um, 10 minutes ago or so, got a little bit longer today, but uh, I was roasting, woke up sweating, way too hot. So we're outside already. I haven't got it set up yet, just brought the stuff out. Um, I don't know if you can see. Um, it's wet out here still. Condensation, the, the dew, the dew from overnight is, uh, hasn't had a chance to, uh, to evaporate away yet. Um, so yeah, it's a bit wet. Um, I think the wooden chair would be okay to sit on. Not so much the uh, not so much the green plastic yet. I need time time to run the water off. Um, but we're going to go and get water. We uh, we're low on uh, on the, the the what we call the bad water, the the stuff that you can't drink without boiling, or you know. Um, we need that just. I mean, at the minute we we've got plenty of drinking water. But we need some more general purpose stuff, the stuff for cleaning, washing clothes in and uh, etc. Um, so we're off to do that. That's just for the next uh, half an hour. I think I'm only going to do the one trip. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, back shortly. Okay folks, we're at the uh, the water place. We've collected, filled two bottles, eight litres each, a little bit less in that one. Ah, uh, ready for home. And here we are just a few moments later. I just went to pick the bag up and it died on me. Split in half. Now I've got the problem of how to get these two bottles home. The obvious answer would be one in each hand, but that's annoying, and I have a dog in this hand. Over the shoulder was always a better option, let the legs take the weight. Well, that was more of a workout than I was intending. One in each arm all the way home. It's a lot more work than having them in a bag and having it on your shoulder. Just letting your legs and your shoulder take the strain. Gravity kind of does the kind of gravity kind of works for you when when it's on your shoulder. Um, yeah. Now I'm hot and sweaty at quarter past nine, and I need to sit down. Oh well, that's a good start to the day. These carrier bags, these, these shopping bags, they're the king of shopping bags. But uh, it's the second or the third that I've killed. 16 litres, 16 kilograms. They carry well for for months, but uh, they do go eventually. It only needs one stitch to go, and then the uh, and the entire thing just rips across. Um, I brought it home though, rather than ditching it in the road, but mainly just because my funnel's in the bottom there. Not that I couldn't have made another one easily enough, but uh, didn't feel right to just throw it away. The bag will end up as a rubbish bin, I think, now. More work than I intended. Okay, that's it for now. And we're back in the park again. Come for a bit of shade, it was getting too warm in the camp. Come on, baby girl. Tina girl, come on. Lovely day again. A little bit too nice. I think it's three degrees warmer than yesterday. Which, when you've got no shade, you feel. So we're going to head on up to our favourite spot again, up in the next field, and uh, 
lay out the picnic mats and see what the day brings back soon okay folks we're here it's five to one we're in the park nice shaded spot under our favorite tree here's tina here's a picnic blanket we've got water for tina and her little collapsible bowl water for me a bit of cola some sweeties biscuits the last two jacket potatoes that I cooked last night been snacking on them all morning those are the last two that we'll have shortly a book to read a pair of glasses to her read by because my eyes like the rest of me not as young as they used to be radio power bank and solar panel it's important that I get my phone charged um, so this is us for the afternoon check back later customary shot of Tina to begin with um it's about half past four the Sun has moved around again um, I think I'm gonna move I'm gonna move the picnic blanket into the shadow into the shade one more time and uh, should be here another hour maybe a little bit more and then that'll be it for the day um, head off back head off back to camp somewhere half five six o'clock similar to yesterday uh, nice quiet uh, afternoon good bit of breeze um, it's hot in the Sun obviously <laughs> almost by definition that isn't it but uh, the breeze is nice and, and the shade the shade is welcome um, yeah, it's been a good afternoon quick shot of Tina hiding in the grass um, seven o'clock we just got back to the camp very quiet afternoon uh, the tent is like an oven as you would expect I got the, the outer door open trying to let some let some fresh air in but after all the mosquitoes got into the bedroom yesterday, I'm keeping the uh, I'm keeping the bedroom door closed as much as I can. It has a kind of a mosquito net um, window kind of panel, um, so trying to keep uh, trying to keep the temperature down, trying to get the air circulating in there, but without letting the biddies in. Uh, but that's about it for now. Um, I don't know what's for f food tonight. I don't know whether I was thinking about maybe cooking a stew or a. I don't know. Um, I've got a lot of lentils and beans. Um, maybe some kind of chili. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, folks. Um, wow. I'm gobsmacked. I don't know where to begin with this one. Um, begin with Tina, obviously. It's always a good starting point, although she's covered in bits and pieces. Um, I was about to start, and I am about to start, a, a, a cooking video, which I will keep separate. But uh, I'd, I'd prepared a few ingredients and, and got others out. And uh, as you know, step number one is coffee so the the pan was on to boil the water and a car pulls up and a guy peeps the horn dog goes crazy obviously but they uh, they brought me a bag of food people's generosity um, it's incredible it's it's really is incredible um, I haven't looked properly yet at, at, at what we've got but uh, we got we got a couple of baguettes of different shapes and sizes, a sliced loaf, uh, a four pack of biscuits, uh, two jars of uh, white beans. This is not the best way to present things, is it? Um, what's this? 
Uh, some sort of bread rolls. Brown bread rolls, integral. Okay, so that's more bread. <laughs> I'm going to be busy eating bread. And this... i got absolutely no idea. Some kind of bready, cakey pieces. Um, I'm unfamiliar, but I will learn. <laughs> but isn't that incredible? Um, wow. I mean, I'm not stretching a point if I say that ordinarily, ordinarily, three quarters of my food comes out of bins until about a month ago when Damien and Simon arrived on the scene. I mean, yeah, sometimes people bring me... Oh, it's incredible. I, I, I'm not an emotional person, generally. Or I didn't think I was. But a, a couple of times when people have brought me things like this, I, I do get... I, I've started getting emotional. Turning into a big wuss. Maybe because it's Pride Month. I don't know. Um, but that's... That's incredible. A thank you goes goes out to my uh, to my new to my new friends, a, a Ukrainian family. Um, apologies, they did tell me their name, but um, it's it's how do you put it? The, the names, the words, they're so unfamiliar to me that um, they don't they don't register. They don't stick in my. Uh, in my mind and in my memory. So apologies to them, but thank you very, very much to them. Um, that's incredible, it really is. Um, so from me and from Tina, thank you very, very much. Um, I'm gonna press on, I'm, I'm gonna go on with the cooking video, but uh, it looks like my coffee's it looks like the pan's getting warm at least. I see heat shimmer around around the top of the lid. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that and then I'll be I'll be back, like I said, separate cookery video. But from me and from Tina, thank you very much and bye for now.